Now we're ready to do the timing once we've formatted all of our text. The first thing we want to check for before we start timing this uh, captions to the video is our settings under the time code panel. First and foremost, we have to make sure that this button, the mark time code send line, is pressed in as opposed to pressed out. Next, we want to check the time code properties window. In this case, we are getting the time code directly from the video playback from Windows Media Player. In the event that we're using an external time code reader, we can select our model from this list. Once we hit apply, we hit OK, then our play button on the VTR control is chased by the time code here. Now that our settings are correct, we can begin to do the timing itself. First, we want to make sure that we're at the beginning of the video by scrubbing this tool all the way to the left. That gives us the black or the beginning of the video frame. Once we're ready to do the timing, we select the caption we'd like to start with. In this case, it's going to be this one at the top. And we press the play button. To be able to mark our endpoints or our start times, we want to use the plus key on our keyboard, which is found all the way to the right next to the number keypads. We press play. We wait for the narration or voiceover to come on. We press the plus sign. You'll notice that every time I press the plus key, the start time code starts over here and moves to the next caption that I'm ready to time. You do this repeatedly until you get to the very end of the script. If for some reason you make a mistake, you can select the caption that you feel is off and you notice that the actual video will start at where that caption was timed originally. We then press play and resume the timing. You'll also notice that we only see the start time code over here. We don't see the out or the stop time code. Let me show you how you can view the out as well. To customize our columns on the screen, we simply go to the view, visible columns, and select stop time code or any other um, invisible columns that we would like to see. When we do so, we hit OK, and then you can see the stop time code as well as the start. If we continue to do our timing, we see that by pressing the plus sign, the out time code is also set when we select the in time code on the next caption. 